the back of the ship, grabbed his pillow, and went back to sleep. But after they had seen this miraculous moment take place, the Bible said that the disciples now had a new question on their minds. And the question was not, uh, Jesus, do you care? But the question transformed into another question. They sat down and they said, what manner of man is this? And you do know when you deal with Brother Jesus, you're not dealing with the average type of man. You're dealing with a different type of man. And they sat there and they said, what manner of man is this? Because uh, when this man speaks to dead people, they get up again. Uh, when this man takes two pieces of tilapia and five red lobster biscuits, uh, he's able to feed 5,000. What manner of oh, man is this? Uh, when uh, the Syrophoenician woman needed him to heal her daughter, he was able to heal her daughter without ever going to the house. What manner of man is this? Uh, have you ever looked around your life uh, and seen the blessings of God uh, and just had to lift your hand and say, what manner of man is this? He keeps on making waves out of your hands. He keeps on putting peace back in my heart. He keeps on crying my tears uh, night after night. And the question you've got to ask is what manner of man is this? He's such a man that one Friday night they took him up a hill called Calvary and he died for you and for me. As I close the sermon thinking about Jesus, I'm reminded of another story about a little brother who got in his older brother's new convertible car. The little brother was in middle school and the older brother had just graduated from college and got a new convertible car. And even the little brother was in the car saying, bro, this thing is clean. Brother, this thing is bad. I mean, you're riding clean with your college graduate lane. He said, this thing is off the chain in Jesus' name. But all of a sudden, a little bee started flying around the car. A little bee started flying from the back of the car to the front of the 